Welcome to Superlight. We transform conservatories into year-round living spaces by replacing your polycarbonate and glass roof with a lightweight solid tiled alternative. This installation guide video demonstrates each step required to fitting your new conservatory roof and how each component fits together. Firstly, you must check the existing roof and ensure that the existing frame is square. The eaves beam is then installed which has been prepped with the underclad soffit. M6 bolts slide into the eaves beam before closing and securing the corner joints. Multi-angle cleats are used to fix the eaves joints together which are then secured with screws. The side window glass units are removed so that all eaves can be secured from underneath. Each rafter is prepared by sliding the required cleats and M6 bolts onto the slots provided. Wall plates are fixed to the wall on both sides of the ridge plate. The valley is then attached to both the ridge and the wall plate. Once in place, the rafters can be attached to the eaves by securing the cleats to the M6 bolts in the eaves. M8 bolts slide onto the end of the hip which is then attached to the multi-angle ridge bracket designed to accept hips at any angle. You must make sure that the hip points towards the center of the ridge. Jack cleats slide onto each side of the hip and are secured to the underside of the jack rafters with M8 bolts. Repeat these steps until all rafters are firmly in place. The external gutter fascias and guttering are then attached. The gutter is attached to the box gutter using the box gutter bracket provided. It is important that sealant and waterproof tape is added to the box gutter to ensure a tight seal is achieved. For ease of fitting, insulation is installed from the outside before the pre-cut and labelled plywood is secured to the rafters and guttering using 38mm screws, adding structural strength. The eaves and waterproof membrane are installed next, followed by vertical battens set at 250 mm apart. Unlike other systems where the tiles are installed directly onto the plywood, these battens ensure constant airflow and eliminate any problems with condensation under the tiles. At this stage, the metal tile starter cleat is added. The barge soaker is attached directly to the battening using high quality adhesive. At this point of the roof installation, the tiles can now be fitted. You must ensure that the first tile is positioned and secured over the soaker. The first row of tiles lock into the starter cleat and all remaining tiles are installed from right to left to ensure they interlock correctly. If there are any issues with the size of a tile, these can be cut to size with super light nibblers or a grinder. Once the tiles are in place, hang the barge over the soaker and screw the side of the barge onto the fascia board. Next, battens are added to the ridges on the roof, ready to receive the ridge caps which are fixed directly to the battens using screws. The internal fit and finish is now addressed and aluminium foil is used to close all gaps in the insulation, followed by the horizontal battens. Insulated plasterboard is cut to size and installed which can then be skimmed and painted to complete the ceiling. Our tiles are available in a range of colours to better suit the aesthetics of your home. Do you want to enjoy more usable living space in your home and reap the benefits of a super light tiled roof? Find out more about our range of products available.